What's up everybody? So today's video is going to be about money management. Now I'll do a disclaimer because I don't know everything there is to know about business, but I have been in business for myself for over 10 years. I own Money Cash Tattoo Supply in the city of Upland, just in case you don't know, now you know. All right, so I don't want to drag this video out, but I'm always open to give people advice if you have any questions or if there's something you want me to elaborate on that I touch on this video feel free to ask. Uh, money management. So a lot of times people have a misconception that when you go into business, you need a lot of money. This is not true. I mean, depending on what you're trying to do, if you're trying to buy a franchise or something like that, then yes, you know, you are going to need a lot of money being that as soon as you open your doors, you're going to make money. But if you're trying to do a small business, maybe a clothing line or a catering truck or thing of that nature, the key is to making sure you're smart with, about what you do with your money and how you spend your money. And when your business opens, what you do with your profits. So me, for example, I have a three column formula. So basically whenever I buy a product, I try to say, can I sell it for three times what the wholesale price of them asking is? Reason being is, so if you sell it for three times, you take one of those, you reinvest it. You take the other, that's your profit for you to live, and you take the other and that you put that away in the savings. So I know it seems like that's a lot of money, but in reality, say we're talking about an item that's, you know, a wholesale price of seven dollars then you'd want to sell it at least for anywhere from 19 to 21 dollars now this would be great if you could sell all your products for that price but unfortunately it doesn't always work that way because some products don't allow that great of a profit margin in my opinion in order to have a successful business the majority of the items in your store or at least half of them have to be able to give you that type of a generous profit margin in order for you to live off of this business. Now, I know there's a lot of people that still work nine to fives and they're starting up their little hustle and I applaud that, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you wanna create a business that will allow you to live off of, you definitely need to follow that rule because you can't sink your money into so many products that you're not gonna be getting enough to live off of. It's one thing to be able to reinvest and keep your business turning but you also need to make enough to live off of and this is something that i don't think people really pay attention to so i'll give you an example let's say you want to get into um the vaping business you go to look at the little modifiers or whatever they're called and let's say they wholesale for 10 bucks and you can sell them for 15. okay well you know five dollars isn't bad but it isn't great and if most of your products are only leaving you that small of a margin that may not be the best business to get into now, for example, in my business with the tattoo supply, there are some products that the profit margin is not as generous, but I keep them in stock because they do bring in clients, maybe clients that normally wouldn't come to me, but they'll come to me for that item. And while they're in there, even if my prices are not as competitive on other stuff, say, for example, like, let's just say gloves, they're going to buy the gloves anyway, even if they can get them cheaper somewhere else, because they're already there for that one product. Hence that one product that I may not be making that much money off of will bring them in and they'll buy other things and in turn you know it'll pay for itself now it doesn't always work that way but that's what the hope is that you know you do carry a couple products that you may not make that much money on but when they come in for that one product that you're only making maybe two three bucks off of they're gonna buy a few other products that your profit margin is 50% or higher so therefore when you're making investments it's really important that you pay attention to that let's say for example you want to start an eyelash business if you're only making three or four dollars off of each pair of eyelash unless you know off the bat you're gonna be selling a ton of eyelashes on a daily basis that's really not a product that you can live off of because the profit margin is too too small but now let's say if you're selling 100 pairs and you're making three three or $4, then that's a pretty decent margin if you're selling 100 pairs a day, you know, you're making $400 profit. That's definitely something that can grow and you can live off of and continue to grow and maybe allocate your money into other businesses to continue to be able to live off of your businesses and not have to take a nine to five plus your side hustle. Um, for me, I'm very fortunate where I really don't have a specific passion for any kind of business. I have a passion for profit. So for me, what really turns me on and gets my gears like going is if someone tells me like, hey, you can make $10 off of that product that only costs you $3 to stock. That for me is what business is all about. It's about really just finding a product that people need and supplying them and being able to make a decent profit to where you can live off of and continue to grow and save and grow your business you want to be sure that when you're buying products for resale that you do your research so even if your buying price is a good price 
that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna make money off of it because if there's 10 other stores that are selling it for the same price, you're either gonna have to drop your prices or you're gonna have to go to another area where there's more of a demand for it. Either way, you're gonna have to work harder to get the same amount of money. So you wanna make sure that you do your research about that before making investments. Also too, if you're starting up a business and you have like one good month and say you have a big cash flow of $10,000, let's just say, you don't want to spend all that money before you take care of stocking your store with new product because if you don't have new product to stock then how are you going to continue to make money off of your business i've seen people make this mistake time and time again they have a great idea they make a small investment they make some quick money and they spend it all including the money they need to reinvest you always want to make sure that you take care of your product first because how can the product take care of you if you don't have any product to sell so in short Make sure that you're looking for products that leave you a decent profit margin. Don't buy items that are going to only allow you to make a few dollars but tie up your money. So if an item is way more expensive than what you expect in return, unless you're going to be a volume seller like a 99 cent store or somebody who you know off the bat you're going to be selling hundreds of that item a day, you're not going to make any money, not enough to where you can live off of. Um, and try to keep your uh, business versatile as far as like, Try to see where you can branch off of. If you're selling makeup, can you sell hair products as well? You don't have to specialize in everything, but just to be able to draw in new clientele. So when you make investments, that's something you wanna think about. Tying in other items that are in your industry, maybe not necessarily pertaining exactly to your business, but they have something to do with it. Kinda of like when you go to the market, you're going for food, but you see a pack of gum at the checkout aisle. Everybody needs gum, right? Same concept. So that was this for today. I hope I dropped some knowledge on y'all. And like I said, if you have any further questions, my DMs are always open for help. And just don't hit me with no BS. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Be smart about your money. Take a risk on yourself. Make that investment and boss up.